Hello friends, I'm Dr. Jeev Ram. Today I will discuss Graves disease and its treatment. Here you can see in this picture exophthalmos protrusion of eyes. It's one of the clinical features of Graves disease. Here you can see a picture with clinical features of Graves disease. Graves disease is an autoimmune disorder that results in the overproduction of thyroid hormones, hyperthyroidism. Although a number of disorders may result in hyperthyroidism, Graves disease is a common cause because thyroid hormones affect a number of different body systems. Signs and symptoms associated with Graves disease can be wide ranging and significantly influence your overall well being. Although Graves disease may affect anyone, it's more common among women and before the age of 40. The primary treatment goals are to inhibit the overproduction of thyroid hormones and lessen the severity of symptoms. Common signs and symptoms of Graves disease include anxiety and irritability, a fine tremor of your hands or fingers, heat sensitivity and an increase in perspiration or warm moist skin, weight loss despite normal eating habits. Enlargement of your thyroid gland, quieter change in menstrual cycle, erectile dysfunction or reduced libido, frequent bowel movements, bulging eyes, bulging eyes, graves of thermopathy, thick red skin usually on the shins or tops of the feet, graves dermopathy, rapid or irregular heartbeat palpitations. Graves disease is caused by a malfunction in the body's disease-fighting immune system, although the exact reason why this happens is still unknown. One normal immune system response is the production of antibodies designed to target a specific virus, bacterium or other foreign substance. In Graves disease, for reasons that aren't well understood, the body produces an antibody to one part of the cells in the thyroid gland, a hormone-producing gland in the neck. Normally, thyroid function is regulated by a hormone released by tiny gland at the base of the brain, pituitary gland. The antibody associated with Graves disease, thyrotropin receptor antibody, acts like the regulatory pituitary hormone. That means that thyrotropin receptor antibody overrides the normal regulation of the thyroid, causing an overproduction of thyroid hormones, hyperthyroidism. Risk factors Family history Because a family history of Graves' disease is a known risk factor, there is likely a gene or genes that can make a person more susceptible to the disorder. Gender Women are much more likely to develop Graves' disease than are men. Age Graves' disease usually develop in people younger than 40. Other autoimmune disorders People with other disorders of immune system such as type 1 diabetes or rheumatoid arthritis have an increased risk. Emotional or physical stress, stressful life events or illness may act as a trigger for the onset of Graves' disease among people who are genetically susceptible. Pregnancy, pregnancy or recent childbirth may increase the risk of disorder, particularly among women who are genetically susceptible. Smoking, cigarette smoking, which can affect the immune system, increases the risk of Graves' disease. Smokers who have Graves' disease are also at risk of developing Graves' ophthalmopathy. Complications Pregnancy issues Possible complications of Graves' disease during pregnancy include miscarriage, preterm birth, fetal thyroid dysfunction, poor fetal growth, maternal heart failure, and preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a maternal condition that results in high blood pressure and other serious signs and symptoms. Heart disorders, if left untreated, Graves' disease can lead to heart rhythm disorder, changes in the structure and function of the heart muscles, and the inability of heart to pump enough blood to the body. Thyroid storm, a rare but life threatening complication of Graves' disease, is a thyroid storm, also known as accelerated hypothyroidism or thyrotoxic crisis. It's more likely when severe hyperthyroidism is untreated or treated inadequately. The sudden and drastic increase in thyroid hormones can produce a number of effects including fever, profuse sweating, vomiting, diarrhea, delirium, severe weakness, seizures, markedly irregular heartbeat, yellow skin and eyes, jaundice, severe low blood pressure and coma. Thyroid storm requires immediate emergency care. Brittle bones, untreated hyperthyroidism also can lead to weak brittle bones, osteoporosis, the strength of your bone depends 
in part on the amount of calcium and other minerals they contain. Too much thyroid hormone interferes with your body's ability to incorporate calcium into your bones. Tests and diagnosis Physical examination Your doctor examines your eyes to see if they are irritated or protruding and looks to see if your thyroid gland is enlarged. Because Gave's disease increases your metabolism, your doctor will check your pulse and blood pressure and look for signs of tremor. Your doctor will order blood tests to determine your levels of thyroid stimulating hormone TSH, the pituitary hormone that normally stimulates the thyroid gland as well as levels of the thyroid hormones. People with Graves disease usually have lower than normal levels of TSH and high levels of thyroid hormones. Another laboratory test measures the levels of the antibody known to cause Graves disease. This test usually isn't necessary to make a diagnosis but a negative result might indicate another cause for hyperthyroidism. Radioactive iodide uptake Your body needs iodine to make thyroid hormones by giving you a small amount of radioactive iodine and later measuring the amount of it in your thyroid gland with a specialized scanning camera. Your doctor can determine the rate at which your thyroid gland takes up iodine. The amount of radioactive iodine taken up by the thyroid gland helps determine if grave disease or any other condition is the cause of the hyperthyroidism. This test may be combined with a radioactive iodine scan to see a visual image of the uptake pattern. Ultrasound Ultrasound uses high frequency sound waves to produce images of structures inside the body. Ultrasound can show if the thyroid gland is enlarged and is most useful in people who can't undergo radioactive iodine uptake, such as pregnant women. Imaging tests If the diagnosis of Graves ophthalmopathy isn't clear from a clinical assessment, your doctor may order an imaging test such as CT scan, a specialized X-ray technology that produces thin cross-sectional images. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI which uses magnetic fields and radio waves to create either cross-sectional or 3D images may also be used. Aims of treatment to reduce thyroid hormones levels to normal to prevent or treat complications, heart failure, ophthalmopathy. Pharmacological treatment of Graves' disease Young patient of pregnancy tablet propanolol 40 mg half to 2 tablets plus tablet carbimazole 5 mg 3 to 4 tablets 3 times a day for 6 to 12 weeks. Gradually this used to 1 to 3 tablets daily as maintenance dose for 12 to 24 months. Elderly patients iodine 131 dose calculated on the basis of gallon size given only as a single dose repeated after 4 to 6 months if needed. Tablet carbimazole may induce bone marrow suppression. Patients should be told to report any type of infection. The drug should be stopped immediately if uh, neutropenic. Check iodine function at uh, 5 to 6 weeks.